Hello YouTube, today's project is take this anvil off here, resurface the top. We're going to polish it on some sandpaper. We're not going to get carried away on a disc sander or anything. We're just going to kind of polish it, clean up the top, working surface. We're not going to repaint it, we'll just clean it. Uh, we've had this for a long time. We've got some cracks here, so we put some super glue in it. We're thinking about flipping this upside down. So we don't get nothing on what like, like this and spray paint this black. Cause it is an ugly old color. Uh, you can see how my super glue I put in there. See where it run out? I had it sitting like this, and I just kept filling it. I'd wait a couple minutes, wait a couple minutes, and the super glue I used, uh, cheap stuff from you know where. Uh, it's probably been sitting around for all over a month. I'd say be. I had it open before I started cleaning up my shop and redoing it. So, I resealed it after using it and it's still good. As long as you store them upside down, or right side up, not upside down. As long as you wipe it off and store it this way and put this cap back on, I have very good luck with this cheap stuff. You, know, you can buy like three or four tubes for a buck on sale. So. And it's the old fashioned formula. I mean, when it gets on your fingers, it's stuck. I mean... It's the kind you get on your fingers, you're stuck instantly. It takes a little bit to dry. So, don't just put it on and go sanding. Okay, jacked about enough. Let's take it off here. I drilled these holes in this. This was a toy. It had a sticker on it. It had like, maybe one of the real old stickers. Like you see knickknacks years ago from China. Probably red with gold lettering. So I have a little cast iron pot so has a sticker on it if I can find it. So, it was considered a knick-knack, but I use it for an anvil. I use it for a miniature anvil with a little bit of hammers. It is only about four inches, and this is about five-eighths of an inch wide. We'll start out the one-inch mark. See now, it's not a very big thing at all. So, enough yakking about it. Let's get to work. When we come back, we'll have this cleaned up, and this will be shellac. With my favorite slack. We will sand it first. The best that we can sand it. And this will be sprayed black. So. Stay tuned for more. Okay. We forgot we had stains. We put some of our stain on here. Black cherry. Much nicer. And we're going to flip up the bottom. And stain the bottom. We may not slack the bottom. but We already sanded the top. The best it's going to get. So, back to work. Okay, we took the file to this, several different directions. They were kind of lapping on 500 grit, this is 1200 grit. We're not going to polish it because it's going to get used. We're about to get a nick or something in it, but it had a lot of diagonal lines in it was machine. And I don't remember ever finishing it. So, it's not going to be, as you can see, it's not going to be a mirror polish, but it is pretty flat. I had a straight edge on it. I mean, it's good enough for small work that I'm going to use it for. So, we'll bring you back when it's installed on the base. We did give the outer piece of wood, if I don't, don't remember, the outer part of the piece of wood, we did give it two coats of that stain, which made it look nice. And we shellacked the top. The top's not stained. You'll be able to see the difference. The bottom is stained. The top is just shellac natural wood. So, We'll be right back once we get it all put back together. Okay, we are done with this little project. The bottom is stained. The sides were stained twice. So it was kind of ugly looking wood, even though the bark was off. I don't know why it was dark like that. It wasn't burnt or anything, but I'm assuming this was just some old piece of elm firewood that I'd sawed off a few years back. There you go. So it's not a mirror polish finish, but it, it's pretty flat. I mean, I took the file and went in different directions. So uh, you put something on it to straighten it, it's going to turn out pretty good. We have straight edges. Let's use like my calipers. I mean, there's a little rock to it. Like I said, it's not for precise machining work, it's for hobby use. I mean, there's a little rock, it's humped up in the middle. As far as side by side, it's hard to, 
It's hard to do that in salt and small, but there it is kind of humped up in the middle. It could be made perfect, but it's not what it's going to be used for. So there you go. We'll snap a couple photos. Thanks for watching.